Good evening, everyone. Let's take a look at what things are supposed to do this time of the year. We're going to keep those averages that you see here cooling off pretty substantially, but notice how once we get into December, we kind of start to level out a little bit because, of course, then we'll hit our rock bottom in January and then start to have things go up. However, for this next month, we're still going to lose degrees pretty fast. Every couple of every couple of days, we'll go down another notch. Notice by the time we get through Thanksgiving to December 1st, averages are pretty chilly out there. Now, go Going forward, that's actually not going to be a problem. We're going to have temperatures well, well above average, so enjoy it because the longer into the season we have numbers like this, the more likely it is that we have a very sharp drop off in our temperatures coming our way. A little bit of temperature whiplash. We've had it happen for several years now. Potterville, you're the neighborhood planner for tomorrow. If you want to plan on going for a walk or something in the afternoon after work, it's going to be beautiful. And remember, enjoy these late sunsets while they last. Clocks go back. Saturday night into Sunday. So then Sunday we're talking sunsets of like 524. Overall going forward though, your great day outlook is going to go back up into the great day category. Just got to burn off all the morning fog out there for your Tuesday and then things will start to shape up. High pressure whizzes on by down to our south, keeps things very, very nice for us. Then what's happening is a huge huge dip in the jet stream but as it comes our way it's actually going to lift to the north so we will feel some effects from it but it's not going to be as substantial as you think just yet so once the fog burns off tons and tons of sunshine out there as we go overnight into your tuesday night into wednesday morning not bad at all no fog this time so that's good and then wednesday itself this is all beautiful sunshine going throughout the day things are going to look very nice for us for, again for the next several days and be well above average so again once the fog clears look at this Jonesville, Hillsdale, up to about 63, maybe time for a nice you know, walk around one of our various rivers or lakes in the area. You have Eagle at 61, Grand Ledge at 59. Not a bad day at all, but we will have that morning fog that burns off eventually, and a west wind will help us do that at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then we're near 70 for several days. Actually, Wednesday all the way through Saturday looks phenomenal. And what a better way to do it than leading right up to the exact night of the time change. You know, we had summer lasting until the last day of summer. Fall started on the first day of fall. Nice temperatures, so we turned the clocks back. It's kind of weird how things are shaping out this year, but hey, we'll take it. I am going to watch Sunday very closely because we might have some high winds come with that storm system.